Hello, everybody, all over the world. Hello, we're back after one break because there was no show last Saturday, but now it's Wednesday, and we're doing the show episode ninety-two. Uh, sticky bombs only, and sticky bombs is the m most powerful weapon in the game. It is really good. It can like do so much damage and cause so much trouble. And it has random crits and it's really good and really powerful. And it's the demo man's secondary weapon, although it's actually his primary because that's what you use the most over the grenade launcher. So there was um, a constraint for today, and that was you had to only use the sticky bomb launcher, and that was it. So a lot of people they use the items that gave you extra health, you know, the the pirate legs or the Ali. Baba's wee booties or something like that. So you have about 200 health uh, as much as a soldier. So uh, that was the constraint. I, some people uh, used the um, melee weapon, which is of course not allowed and were therefore automatically disqualified. So before we go into the first replay of the day, I just want to thank everybody who submitted. We had a new record last time that blew the last record of submissions out of the water and now it's like double of what it was last time. So we had like a record that was blown the next week. So a lot of replays were submitted. So thank you guys, you're all included in the submitters raffle and I will give you a great item when I have something great to give you. The last winner, I forget what it was called, but he won a key. So you might get lucky. Yes, so we will go into the first replay of the day and we will talk uh, a bit more about this stuff here in general. Here we have, uh, have a bit of a lag and he's gonna play a uh, demo man on a dust bowl. But he's on blue, so the map is not so good. If he was on red, this would be excellent. So one thing that is important to note with the sticky bombs is that you have eight stickies. Uh, the first sticky takes the longest to reload. So if you shoot, like if you sh empty yourself and then you shoot one and reload and shoot one and reload and shoot one and reload and then you shoot one and reload and then you shoot one and reload and then you see we have a pattern emerging here where you shoot and reload. You're actually going to spend a lot more time reloading because the first uh, reload is slower than the consecutive one. So the more you reload the better and the more uh, time saving it is for you. So this is something that's very good with the sticky bomb launcher. You can shoot up and you can take, you know, sentries down like this and due to the bug he has no feet because he's using like the feet where he um, has more health and stuff. So he's gonna be taking out this sentry eventually and this is the problem with uh, sticky bomb launchers. When players are in your face you're not allowed to use melee and you just try and kill them and you eventually do. Uh, that is very uh, difficult when people like are all in your face and they're kind of too close. Because it's kind of like this zone where people are too close where you can't really detonate fast enough. Like left click and right click. Well, he's going to be shooting out a couple of stickies. This is of course uh, uh, Freeze for Fun 32. He's playing a demo man here. Uh, I think he's a first time submitter, I think. So it was important to showcase what he does. Shooting a bit up and then falling back once again and then reloading. Uh, it's very important to reload as a demo man. I highly recommend turning on the option where you can automatically reload. Just look under the advanced options menu and there's a bunch of settings there you can fiddle around with. And, uh, you know, Sticky Bomb Launcher is really good. It's really powerful, but it takes a bit uh, to get used to because it's a bit different, you know, than other rockets. You know, it has a, an arc, it's a projectile and uh, you have to detonate. And when you detonate, you detonate all the stickies. Uh, unlike the Scottish Resistance where you just aim at people and then uh, they aim at the stickies and then you detonate them. So we're seeing uh, Freeze for Thunder doing a lot of work all by himself, uh, and then falling back and reloading. Usually a good strategy when you reload is to reposition yourself. But his team is running the strategy of having, uh, well, they actually are running the strategy of having a shit ton of demo man. And if you have a shit ton of demo men and you work together as a team, you're gonna win every single time. Because, you know, this, just because of the, the way the Sticky Bomb launcher works, it's just so good and so powerful. So, uh, Freeze for Fun 32 is uh, not, like, you know, top tier player, like the best player, but he plays for fun and he actually does pretty well. So he's gonna be a bit careful here. And oh, he sees the heavy. One sticky, two sticky, three sticky, four sticky, and detonates, and the heavy is fine. He. Okay, down he goes. Oh, the demo man is back on him. Alright. He's too close, can't use the metal weapon, has to reload. Oh, zoop. And... That has probably happened to you. A lot. Because it happens to everybody. Because there's kind of like this zone, because if you would have, let's say, the grenade launcher, you can just plot the grenade launcher and the grenade launcher, you know, explodes on impact. And it's kind of easy to hit that guy if he's right in front of you. Uh, so that's what I wanted to do with uh, the uh, Sticky Bomb Launcher only episode, to show that grenade launchers are also important. Because... When people get too close, you kind of need to do that. So we will go on to the next replay, and that was kind of an offensive demo man, what we saw that, like, like attacking on blue. 
So we will now look at a defensive one. And I also have some announcements uh, I'll be talking about right now, and that is I have a Steam group where I post all kinds of announcements and stuff for stuff we're gonna be doing. So if you're in the Steam group, you'll be notified of everything. So you can join that if you want to. I also have a Twitter where I post um, similar stuff, but it's not, you know, regulated to this show all the time. And it's like, hey, I like this video, you should check it out, and you check it out, and then you laugh, because it was a fun one. So this is Nightshade uh, a, um, Vertical Dash Twitch TV slash Unmoon, I guess that's his stream page. And he's gonna be playing Devil Man, and Devil Man is the kind of class that is good at shooting up and shooting down. Uh, unlike the Soldier, who are not so good at shooting up, uh, just because of the way the Sticky Bomb launcher works, is really good. A little bit, uh, because this episode is uh, only about the Sticky Bomb launcher, and we have a sh ton of replays. We're gonna be examining this weapon very carefully, and it's important to understand how the Sticky Bomb launcher works. Because if used correctly, uh, you can kill everything, pretty much. It's just so powerful. Keep in mind that if you have launched this weapon directly below somebody's feet and they stand like 100% above it, you will do 138 damage. That is almost a headshot of damage. And you have 8 of those. And you can cluster them together uh, to do maximum damage. So we're seeing Nightshade here uh, do a very good defense. What he does, he goes around a corner like and checks for stuff, you know. Goes around and, and checks for, for things. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, there he is. Yes, and he uh, pops down some sticky bombs, deal, deals some damage, and when he's reloading, he falls back, heals up with the dispensers and medic, and when he's done reloading, he comes back out again. And that's a very common thing to do as a devil man. You can see he's just shooting stickies. Uh, is he actually hitting anything? While well, he's doing some damage, jumping around here without feet. Because that is apparently uh, not what you need. The soldier comes around on the side here, but he's going to be taken out immediately. And then he's going to take the time to reload. And then he's good again. And he's going to be going back out. And that's kind of how you defend. You know, as a devil man, you run back and forth. You take out a bunch of guys. You roll back and forth. And when you reload, that's when you fall back. Because if you're in combat and you had to reload as a devil man, you're pretty screwed. Because that's like the downside. And get some lucky crits here from the skill crits, Krieg. Soldier's in the air. Doing a bunch of damage here. And uh, this is generally a good spot uh, in general, because Demoman is uh, one of the few classes in the game, is actually one of two, that actually doesn't necessarily need to see his opponents in order to do damage. Because what you can do, you can like put a bunch of bombs on the cart. I'm not sure if he's going to do it here, because he's too busy doing uh, sticky bombs thing here. Um, sticky bombs, close range, does around 100 damage. Far away, does about 30, 40, and yeah, no, all in the range in between of that, so... It's uh, really good, really powerful, however the downside is when you reload or people get too close, you're kind of screwed like there. Because you try to blow up uh, the pyro, but you also blow up yourself. So that's one thing a lot of people are like, oh, sticky bombs are just so broken and imba. Well, actually not, because they're, like, Demo Man is the only one that has both his main weapons, you know, the grenade launcher and the sticky bomb launcher. Um, damage himself. So that's kind of the thing. If a Devilman is low and he's close to you, he might have to melee. And if he has to melee, you can just use any ranged weapon and kill him. So there's kind of like the zone you can get into the Devilman where he literally can't hit you. And if he hits you, he also hurts himself. So that's like when you get a good feel of the game, uh, you can turn on, like you can see how much damage you do to other players. You can kind of do math if you know that the Devilman has uh, 175 health. Well, in this case, with the boots, he has 200. So if he takes 150 damage, something like a headshot, you can actually run straight into him. And if he tries to detonate any kind of projectile on you, you will survive if you're at full health, and he will die because he has so low health. That's kind of thing to do. Scouts are notorious for killing demo men, um, given that you don't run into, um, you know, sticky traps and running to pipes and stuff like that, because. Uh, it, has, it is a certain amount of time before you can detonate, it's not instantly, so I'm, I'm not, not entirely sure of that timing, but, you know, you can, usually what people do, they left click, right click, you know, right click is detonate, left click is shooting out the stickies. And now he's gonna, you can only have 8 stickies out at a time, and one little trick you can do is that if you put out 8 stickies and keep shooting, you will detonate the first sticky and then the second sticky one at a time. So this is Nightshade still, he's gonna be playing here on Payload Gold Rush, last stage defending here, the sentry goes down, crits is popped! And he just shot up a couple of crits over here, did he get something? Yeah, I guess he got a lot of stuff! And now he's gonna go in here and he's gonna utilize the strategy of running into the enemy spawn and dying, which is a very common strategy. 
Now he's close to their spawn, and there's too many guys, and, uh, and he overextends and he dies, uh, pretty much. But one thing that's really good with the demo man is if people are clustered together like this, you will do the same amount of damage to everybody because, as a demo man, you uh, you can do that. So let's see. I forgot to turn on the, the mouse settings, so you can't actually see my mouse. Let's see where is it? Yeah, I include mouse cursor. Yeah, there we go. Uh, because I'm actually showing you like certain areas, but you can't see the mouse because I'm a douche. And one thing demo men are also good at is killing sentries. Sentry has sentry level three has 216 or 217 health, depending on how the source engine is feeling. Uh, so this is going to be nightshade still. And he's gonna be on blue. He's gonna be attacking. And um, this goes also for a bit of an engineer, so like where to not put your sentry. Because sometimes you do put your sentry in a spot you think is good, but it's actually really bad. So here we have it. Wait, just gonna... oh, scream of black. And come back. Come back. Here, it's back. All right, excellent. And this sentry is very easy to kill because when it came to like what is a good sentry placement it comes down to how easily can a demo man kill this well a demo man you know as you know like i said doesn't necessarily need to see the target it just needs to know it's there so this sentry is easily killed by demo man because he can just you know just he can actually like if he knows the sentry is there he can just walk out this door shoot a bunch of stickies over here and kill this and the dispenser and the ng and the heavy effortlessly but regardless Nightshade comes on top here, Uber is popped, they don't really need it. Three stick is, boom, that's all you need. Takes it out, cleans it up, excellent work. And that's gonna be doing some damage here, and this dev NG wants him dead, and he just runs right in his face and kills him. And that's usually the strategy you should utilize if there's a demo man and he's overly using uh, the sticky bomb launcher, or in this case he doesn't have a grenade launcher. Just run in his face and just be like, I'm in your face, and then hit him with a melee weapon or shoot him or burn him or whack him or whatever because he won't be able to do anything with that. That's like the main weakness. So for demo man, if he's using the grenade launcher, uh, run back. If he's using the stickies, run forward because the, the way you evade grenades and sticky bombs are kind of opposite. So depending on what weapon he uses, uh, you should, you know, uh, like avoid... Uh, Properly. The same way when you are the demo man, you know, switch if the opponent is close, use grenades. If he's further away, use stickies. Um, yes, so we will go on to the next one here. We have so many replays today because this weapon is just so deep. It's very powerful. It's super reliable. It's what every demo man uses. It is so good and so powerful. And we're just going to keep on doing this for a long time because we got a surprising amount of replays and they were all really good. So now this is still Nightshade gonna be playing on hoodoo here let's just fast forward a bit he's gonna be jumping yes so this is a familiar spot you've been in as a demo man you're defending you're just shooting a bunch of bombs and you're detonating you're getting kills left and right see bombs going all over the place and you often spin like this you're like shooting rockets and there comes sticky bombs around a corner you gotta be careful uh, demo man is also really good at area denial like if you put a bunch of stickies visible on the ground, nobody's gonna walk there. They have to remove the stickies first, and sometimes people don't even bother with that, so they will just go around. So that's also something you can do as a demo man, just deny any kind of stickies. Keep in mind, three stickies is usually enough to kill any class. You might need four or five with a heavy if he's like using um, the fists of steel where he takes like reduced damage or something. But that's not very common. So one thing you can do, you can do like uh, Nightshade does here, just fill this bomb with sticky bombs and then he's using the corners for for uh, you know defense which is very good like you saw he did there he's currently invulnerable and this heavy is gonna die blown to bits because wow look at the sticky bomb he's invulnerable and he does so much damage and just kills everything and here comes the soldier he hasn't even seen him and that would have been a good time to melee but you're not allowed to and he takes out the soldier and brings maximum ponage somehow a sniper got up there and uh, he gets taken out by this uh, pyro. But one thing I wanted to mention is that you don't necessarily need to see your target. If you know there's a guy here, you can just shoot a bunch of stickies here. He can't see you, but you know he's there and you shoot him and he dies. Stickies, because they're a projectile and they're very different from other games that I've seen. Uh, so it's really good, it's a really new mechanic and it's really, really powerful and it's kind of easy. So it's easy and good. As opposed to, you know, sniping. 
where you have this tiny dot. If you miss, you don't hit anything. If you hit, you kill them. It's kind of like all or nothing, but the stickies is like, yeah, if I kind of miss, I still do some damage. And if I just keep doing some damage, they will die. So we're back here on Payload Gold Rush on the first stage here, uh, attacking as a demo man. This is... who's this? Uh, this is Gozi-san, not Gozi daughter. The guy with Twitter's feeds in his name, apparently. Yes, Gozi-san, submitting a lot of replays. He's a hero. He really wants to show off how you can do stuff, which is excellent. So, uh, up here, uh, we have a sentry spot. Uh, this is the sentry spot I usually build it in, but it's really hard to defend because you can, like, get a couple of stickies in here. One sticky, two sticky, three sticky, boom. Uh, actually, soldier takes it up, but I would have died anyway if he right-clicked any faster. So, here you have, like, good range we can be at. And one thing that is important that Gozi Sun utilizes is that Devil Man, when you're reloading, you're really vulnerable. Because you really want to reload as much as possible, you don't want to like shoot one and reload one and shoot one and reload one, because that takes a lot longer than if you just consecutively reloaded all the uh, all the weapons. So one thing you should do when you have to reload, let's say you've emptied yourself both your grenade launcher and your sticky bomb launcher, you should just fall back and reposition yourself, like try and hit from another side. And this is what uh, Gozi's on does a lot, and we have a lot of replays from him today, so that's good. Uber is popped. Going to be dealing a ton of damage to this heavy here. Taking him out, the pyro goes down to a soldier rocket. Keep in mind, you can also jump with the sticky bomb launcher. We haven't seen that too much today, but you can actually do that and gain height advantage. So not only is it super good for just killing shit in general, it's also good for repositioning yourself if you have a lot of health and being healed by medics and stuff like that. So he's currently a soldier. He's after uh, Ghosts on here. He sticky jumps away and he's safe. Goes to the cart here. And he's currently still reloading. Thank... Oh, that's a bug. Okay, he's done reloading. Doesn't take that long. And, um... He's gonna be uh, running back here. And here comes a sticky jump. Jumps on top of the roof here, and he's in a really good spot. This is an excellent range to be in as a sticky bomb launcher. Especially because this sniper has, like, a planet. Is that the moon? That looks the same from all sides. And he's gonna be able to do a lot of damage. A pyro sees him. And even though if a pyro compression blasts, you're, um... Sticky bomb launcher, uh, sticky bombs, they're still yours. It's not like the pipe bombs where you go around, but eventually you do get taken out if people just keep firing at you in the long run. So that is important to note. Uh, reload, relocate. Both starts with R. They have some R and I, but that's not the relaxing re re recreation. It's reload and reposition. Yeah. One thing you would also do with the demo man is flanking. And if you don't know what flanking is, that is, if I'm looking this way, and you come from either this or this side, that's a flank. Yes, so here we have, mm, this is still goes is on. He's attacking, don't pay a gold rush. He has pushed it through the second stage, we missed that, but they're doing quite well. Uh, his team is actually looking pretty strong. They have two medics, two demo man. Two engineers, they only really need one, but that's fine. Pyro comes in, tries to get something done with the random crits flames, but isn't able to pull it off. And uh, Gozizan is still running, uh, has no feet, apparently, because of uh, the replay bug. I hope Val fixes that soon. Bell time. It will happen. So there's uh, various ways to attack this last point. However, this point is very well easily defended. Uh, the way uh, Gold Rush is um, like designed is that the first stage is easy to attack and the middle one is kind of like medium and the last one is hard. Uh, because you usually come at the low ground and oh he sees a soldier, he sees a soldier. Did the soldier see him? No, he's currently with this medic so if he just went down and killed the soldier he could but the soldier actually takes the medic and he has the guile here. You know whatever we see when you have the guile here, this is guile. And he goes, Sonic Kapoor! Yeah, that's what he says. And then he's going to be using the equalizer to run away. And goes his on. I'm not sure where he went. Kyle is still here, and he's like, Res barrel. And he wants to barrel. But goes his on his left. And he's like, all right, fuck it. So goes his on's going to run up here now, because he actually ran through the through the stairs. But oh no, Kyle is after him. Get it on. And down he goes, and the heavy's like, yeah, this is a spot you want to engage. You have a hit scan weapon, and a hit scan weapon, you have to actually see your target. This guy has a sticky bomb launcher. He does not need to see his target. And if you engage this, you're going to die. But that's not what's going to happen. Yeah, that's down he goes. He died. Crits is popped, though, so now he had Crits Creek, and those sticky bombs just does so much damage. 
He's gonna be shooting a bunch of sticky bombs all over the place and takes out a sniper, but I think his medic died or something, but he's still left alive and they're gonna push the cart now. Sticky bombs, he needs to sticky the sentry. And he blows up, what did he get? Well, he got everything, that's what he got. And now counter crits this pot from a demo man using the same strategy. Putting out a lot of stickies and uh, Gozizan is still alive some way, somehow surviving that, um, surviving that little crits there. And enemy Uber is pop. There's another Giles, heavy maybe. And uh, it's gonna be going on the right side eventually. Let's see what kind of stuff he does. This is also very good, you know. Sticky bombs, you're above your target. He can see you, but you can kind of fall back and just detonate at any point in time. So that's important to note. Um, the reason I'm going this much in depth is because this weapon doesn't really carry over to any other weapons in the game. Pretty much, it's like like hit scan weapons are all about aim. And Sticky Bomb Launchers is all about throwing bombs and, and hopefully not dying. So that's a little flank with uh, crits, so let's look at more shit blowing up, because that's good, you know? Yes. Uh, still goes this on, I think, yes. Uh, still goes on. He sent in a surprising amount of replies, and they're all um, fairly good, I think. Because usually what I try to cover when I have an episode is how does it work on offense? How does it work on defense? How does it work with your play style? How does, um, like, what what are the limitations? What are the strengths? What are the weaknesses? And I try to illustrate different points every time we do, uh, do a different replay so I don't try and show the same thing twice. So here we have an excellent uh, example of why the Sticky Bomb is so good, especially against sentries. First of all, sentries can't move. Uh, that's like the starter thing. And... He can see the sentry, but the sentry doesn't see him because they, you know, he can't see him because you barely see the top. So he's just gonna lob a couple of stickies over. One, two, three, that's all I need. Four. Dead. Alright, that took less than a second. And, uh, yeah, there's currently no defense here. He's, uh, on top. You know, soldiers are good at shooting down, but so are Demoman with the sticky bombs. And you're also good at shooting up, we will look at that. But that was some excellent placement here. Uh, if you're on the high ground, regardless, you have an advantage. Like, just in general, uh, against everything, if you're above your target. So that's where you want to be. Sentry tries to go up again, but it will get shut down. And Gozizan is still up top here, and uh, they're going to be pushing the cart eventually. Down he jumps, and oh no, this is level 2 Sentry! His only weakness. Alright, a bit unlucky there. But that was a nice little Sentry takedown. Because how often haven't you been an engineer? And you spend a lot of time building your Sentry in spawn, and then you carried it out. And as soon as you put it up, you just get instantly destroyed by three sticky bombs. Well, that is because... Let's go on to the next replay. I'm drinking water out of jars. Yes, excellent! So this is still uh, Gozizan, still the man with the sticky bombs only, and uh, he is actually handling the situation where people are attacking him uh, fairly close, fairly well. Because there's some demo men, they have like this little trick they do where they have played the class so much that they know where classes tend to run. And he goes on is an excellent uh, position here. Keep in mind, you can also jump. That will make your sticky bombs go slightly further because, you know, they start higher and they have like this little arc and there's a pyro here trying to burn him. And he eventually gets the pyro. That pyro seemed a bit, you know, not so content of just killing him, but he put him on fire, but he was low on health. But he survived anyway by putting down stickies, and that's usually what you do. Like, they... Like, if I pretend I'm a demo man, I will, like, look down and put stickies here, and then I will fall back. Like, I will go backwards. Like this, and shoot stickies straight down. I won't actually see what's up. And, uh, that's when you, uh, run forward and you run, like, close to them, because a demo man can't hit you with the sticky bomb launcher if you're right in front of him. So here it goes on getting some lucky crits, gonna be reloading and falling back and relo reloading and relocating. So like, yeah, maybe you should go... Okay, Uber popped on me, alright, good, got it. Let's push at any point in time. Counter Uber is popped, he's currently on fire. Pyro is after him, he has his medic, his medic dies. Puts down a sticky, one is sticky, two sticky, and the Pyro dies to a... S sniper, yeah, the sniper that was on fire, excellent. And he's going to be using more sticky bombs as we're going to be doing in the whole episode and then he eventually goes down to some uh, stuff. But that was some nice handling, that was a nice example of what happens. Especially pyros and scouts and spies. 
and classes like that that can like run into you and be like right in your face. Uh, either you have to switch to a melee weapon or maybe a grenade launcher or something like that. But keep in mind, if you switch to a grenade launcher and you shoot a guy that's right in front of you, you will take splash damage as well. So with that, we're going to move on to the next one, and that is something that has often been referred to in games called a spam man So I'm going to show you what a spam man does. So here we have Gozi-san, not Gozi daughter. He is on top here and he is in an excellent spot. Why is this a good spot? Well, first of all, there's ammo and health here. And he can just do as much damage as he wants. And when he doesn't want to take any more damage, he's like, yeah, I'll just go this way. And if he so desires, he can get the health pack as well. And he did some damage there because there are splash damage. One thing that you have to get used to is kind of like this feeling of if you hit people or not. And uh, Val has like this little sound, this little ding sound you could use. It's in the advanced options. You can actually hear when you hit people. It's really, really useful if you play a demo man. However, I don't... Like... If I'm allowed to be a little hipster. Uh, I played TF2 before that you know feature was introduced. Same with auto-reload. And I actually got used to the players actually saying OW when you hit them. Because here's the thing. If you place a sticky bomb at the enemy spawn and you run back to your spawn and you detonate in your spawn, you will hear them say ow from across the map because they got hurt by your stickies. That's not viable anymore because you have the ding sound that just tells you anyway that something got hit. But let's go back to replay. Oh, nice position here. He's on the high ground. Oh, nice headshot getting the medic. I'm not sure who did that, but he's going to be doing a lot of stickies here. Keep in mind, a demo man can kill an overhealed heavy. Easy operation. Uh, if you have a uh, grenade launcher. And uh, we aren't going to see that, but I just thought that's something that's interesting. Because if you see a heavy and medic combo and you're a demo man and you are not running stickies only, you can actually do that. You can take him out with stickies too if you have the position in order. Because you have eight stickies. And let's do some math. A heavy, he has 450 health when he's fully healed, right? And your sticky bombs does max when they're not crits 138 damage. So it's 138, 138, 138, 138. That's over 450 and it accounts for the heavy being healed. So if you shoot four to five well-placed stickies underneath an overhealed heavy and you're by yourself, you will kill him. That's how good this gun is. This gun is just so good. There's a bunch of medics here and keep in mind you do splash damage. So keep in mind not only will you hit the heavy, but you will hit the people around him as well. And one thing that is also important is that the longer you hold down left click, the further the bomb will go. So you can actually shoot a bomb really far and if you like if the enemy doesn't notice you can shoot another one really far and here he's uber popped on goes is on he's gonna be really loading and doing a bunch of spam just constantly left click right click left click right click you can see what i mean by easy because he's just aiming here and then clicking left and then clicking right when they land on the spawn he's just killing absolutely everything uh and then he's gonna be reloading consecutively and you should jump man if a heavy is shooting you you should jump because uh, then the bullets will push you away. It's a nice little uh, thing you can do to be an extra annoying little demo man killing everything. And here's the spam once again. And that's what I mean by it's slightly easy. You just aim in the general direction and they get hit by the splash damage. You know, that's how it works. So it goes on. You're going to run around here, do a little spin around. And the sniper is down. Getting some bombs. Doing some splash damage. Actually getting that little engineer there. And then he's going to reload. There's a spy! Can't use the uh, sticky bomb, the, the melee weapon to kill him, but uh, can use more sticky bombs, right? <laughs> Excellent. It's a mini sentry here. How many sticky bombs does it take to kill a mini sentry? A mini sentry has 100 health, so you do the math on that one. If you said more than one, you are wrong, because it's one and one only if you hit it correctly. Which shouldn't be a problem, because mini sentries don't move. So it should be an uh, easy, easy operation, operation to get that. And now he's on the top here, and he's in a good spot, but accidentally falls down. But that doesn't matter, because the medic has Uber for him. And just putting a bunch of stickies on the cart. And, uh, that's, you know, that's what the opponents want to push. That's what they want to do. Takes out this, the mini sentry uh, with one sticky. There's a mini sentry up there, and he's going to be killing that eventually, I think. I'm just going to be reloading and going inside to spawn again. And, um, and uh, relocating again. Because it's important to not stay in the same spot for too long. Because that is predictable, and you don't want to be predictable ever, pretty much. 
you don't want to be like geese says yes so he's gonna be shooting some more stickies on the cart here it's currently a spy should maybe aim a little higher so you can get a better trajectory and hit more people as they're on the cart but he is uh, doing a lot of work actually has to reload here and get the pyro and they're fine for now but uh, blue team is putting on a lot of aggression here and they actually cap it so what I would like goes on to do is actually drop down and just stand on the cart because if you stand on the cart they can't cap it if you're still on it. You block it, because that's the way you roll. As a demo man. So we're going to look at how you uh, can sticky up a cart, because that can be pretty fun. Because what you can do, you can put a bunch of stickies in front of the cart, and then the cart rolls over, and then they don't see the stickies. However, the stickies still do damage, because they're just so good. So this is... Oh, it's Gozi's on still. Well, now he's a top fragger, so he's doing well here on Pillar Upward. Nice little angle here he's coming from, dealing a bunch of damage. And the enemies are below him, and I think the sniper is absolutely fine. He did not go. Because he is fine. And Soldier bombing in here, trying to do something with uh, Gozi's on, but he's going to be falling back. Staying on high ground, putting down a crit sticky, and actually gets the demo man. The, 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 the pyro man, that's what he got, because I saved myself on that one. It actually gets the soldier as well. Right below his feet, doing 138 damage plus minus, depending on, you know, whatever. And there's a soldier here who can't shoot. Finally, he's one out of four rockets, and he hits f two out of five. So that's a good score if you were that kind of guy, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna be shooting some sticky bombs over here, and you gotta look out for the spy, and the spy gets you because um, spies tend to attack when you are busy. In this case, Gozizan was very busy attacking. So let's move on to the next one and look at the strength that comes from just pure positioning. Because if you have better position than your opponents, you are looking pretty good. You can be a worse player, but if your positioning is better, you will come out of the top most of the time. Because positioning is really important. So this is goes is on. What a bomb! The, the bomb goes is on because he's using sticky bombs and their bombs. Jokes. Yes. Great. So uh, he's gonna be reloading here, and he's in a good spot. Like what you say, but being on the high ground is also very good. Well, in case you haven't noticed, this demo is in a lot of pain. He's like, Ugh! is what he's like. Ugh! 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 And this engineer, wow. I'm a dead engineer. <laughs> Alright, excellent. So, um... There's a bunch of, bunch of guys clustered together here. And keep in mind, if you shoot a sticky, it goes... Up here. And you can actually hit every single thing here in one bomb. So let's see what goes is on those. One sticky hits the soldier, hits a bunch of guys, kills a more bunch of guys. And the engineer dies as well. Well, okay. And he's gonna be reloading now and just run around and try not to get killed as he's like, screw gravity, I don't have any shoes, so I'll just uh, fall back. And oh, now he got legs again, excellent. And he is wearing a gibbous as well. Goes is on being the man, and uh, is the sentry still there? I wonder. Yeah, sentry's still there, and he's like, oh yeah, this, oh, the sentry. Well, I have a good position. Oh, whoops, okay, um, one sticky, two sticky, three sticky. He's actually missing by quite a lot. But that's fine, you know, that's something that comes with practice. But there he goes, takes out the sentry. You only need like one, but he took four, just to be sure. I'm not sure if you noticed that, but like sometimes you can like overcompensate. Like he has like one health. But I like to use eight stickies, just to be sure, you know. Just to be sure that he died. And uh, now the next one is actually uh, entitled uh, Korean Style Server Cleaning. And if you don't know what that is, I'll explain to you. Uh, last year in 2011, because it's 2012 now, I live in Korea. And TF2 in Korea at that time was before free to play. Because that's over a year ago, TF2, TF2 was free to play. And everybody played three classes. Scout, Sniper, and Spy. That's the three classes they played in Korea in pubs. And they only played the map CP Orange X3 and like other crappy maps. But what would happen is if we played a real map, uh, if we had a proper team composition, we would roll them. And that would leave the team to leave. Like, half of the team would leave because they rage quit. They're like, I guess our strategy of s scout, sniper, spy didn't work against their demo, 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 medic, demo, demo, soldier heavy. You know, because that's like a really good combo. <laughs> kind of broken. So, 
then half of the team would quit, right? And then we would trigger an auto scramble. And then half of my team, like the lower bracket on my team, like the bad players on my team, would get put on the opposing team. So then we're halved, right? And then we play again. And since my team kept all the good players, we roll the losing team again, which is half of our team and half of them. So we like half the server. And then they lost again, and then half the team quit again. So you took half of half, so now we're down to six on each team. And then the remaining six just left. And this this is kind of what like this replay is like. So I'm just gonna hold in the tab key. Like we started with, okay, they're nine. They started with uh, 11 as well. Now they're eight, okay. Uh, I guess the players on their team are kind of like, well, we didn't win. I guess we better quit the game. Now they're seven. All right, uh, good. Uh, for any of you wondering how the auto balance works, is that as soon as somebody dies, uh, you get put over on the other team. So now it's currently ten versus six. Um, not looking too good for um, the red guys here, but hopefully they will be able to get a couple of kills. But they don't have a medic. Ooh, okay. So uh, we're just gonna like, keep looking at the score. We're currently ten versus six. Uh, Stormtrooper of Death has died. He should go over on the red team as he respawns, but will he? Well, as soon as he respawns, well, maybe... No, he didn't. I guess the server... Like, this is server that doesn't have, like, auto-balance on. And there he's uber-popped on the remaining six players. Excellent. They're killing everything. And there's only one guy up, and it's a spy, and they're all dead as shit. Okay. And now we're gonna go into, uh, Rememberings of the Spawn Camping episode. We just spawn cap this door. Uh, well, now they're f three. Okay, it's ten versus three. I think we got this. Uh, uh, okay, nobody's coming through this door. Uh, uh, well, well, we kept the point. Uh, you okay, Medic? Well, Okay, they're four now. They're four. All right, excellent. They are one more player. And, um... Uh... Oh, there's a demo! Oh, shit! A demo man! Kill him! Quickly! Okay, we capped the point. Okay, there's still four. We lost our medic, and he should technically end up on the other team, because that's how auto-balance works. But I guess the server's like, you know, screw teams being even. But then one guy actually decides to go over, so now they're five. And sticky jump here from Gozizan jumps into the spawn actually hurts himself in the air with the sticky Let's see that in instant replay once again because that was kind of That was dumb. Next replay. This is a question that's actually in uh, in the um, in the replay, and we will get to that. Uh, is that uh, this is still Gozizan? We'll be featuring a lot of Gozizan today because he's sent in so many replays, and they were, they were like very v varied. But this replay was entitled "Spawn Camp or Cap the Cart." Uh, that is kind of um, a question that depends on the situation. This is one situation. He's on the low ground. He's shooting stickies up because this is why demos are so good. You know, you can see you can just lob the stickies up and whatever is here just dies. Because you know you can easily hit them, but they can't easily hit you because it's, you know, the demo man. Now, like if a demo man wanted to shoot stickies on the guy down here, he had to like shoot the sticky up and it would go floop, it would go like, and then down and he would be dead before it landed there. There we have Gozi's on. He's gonna be running up here, and um, now he's gonna be spawn camping. You know, boom! Yeah, I got one. Ha 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 ha! I'm feeling so good now. One, two, three, stickies. Four with the crate, just to be sure. And do I spawn camp or do I push the cart? That is the question. Well, his team sure as hell ain't pushing, so you should push. The cart's just standing there. Um, 
And eventually his team decides to push. He's still spawn camping, so one guy's pushing, but Scout comes out and tries to get this Huntsman Sniper and he taunts and he dies and then goes is unrealized as well. Shit. Nobody on my team pushed, they all ran into their spawn and died. Well. Oh. And okay. Cart. Okay, push the cart, yes, push the cart, yes, that's what we're gonna do. Push the cart, push the cart. Uh, the medic uh, cart so close. And the replay ends, and we may never know how that went. Yes. Moving on to the next one. It's going to be kind of a horror effect, as you can see. The camera is lightly skewed to the right side. So this is a guy who overcompensates what we said uh, before when you really want people dead. So this is Gozizan, still, of course, playing on the team with more players. Is it playing 8 versus uh, 10 versus 8? Which is fair if you're on red and you're a devil man. Hey -o. That's funny. It's funny to me! That is true, heavy. He's gonna be planting down some stickies here, and uh, you want you, I guess you want to tilt your head slightly to the right, and he actually. What? I actually missed that the first time. That was actually really funny. Okay, so let's let's look at this again. All right, because when I look at these replays, I had so many I had to just blast through them. He puts one, two, three stickies, right? And then here comes the heavy, and he just goes flying through the air, and he lands here. He's like, "Oh shit, I'm low on health. Better eat." And this heavy currently has only 300 health, right? And that's three stickies. You know, stick it as about a hundred, so but if you have really good positioning, I think two would be enough. Maybe two or three. So three is definitely enough. Alright, so this is goes on. Let's count the stickies. One, two, three, four. <laughs> he wanted that guy dead, man. He only needed three. But I guess he would he just he just wanted to be sure, you know, that want that extra one and the one in the stairs in case the heavy just lagged really fast up the stairs. So yes. And uh, launching people in the air. And then getting the pyro. Because one thing that you also do, what he did there, is that you shoot a sticky and then you wait for people to run into the sticky bomb. And then you just detonate when they're on top of it. Yes, excellent. Very nice, very nice. They're still defending, still reloading with his team. This engineer is building a dispenser, that's excellent. It's gonna allow you to reload and get ammo and health and all that stuff. It's gonna be spy checking the corner. Oh, it's a heavy! Oh shit! Okay, fall around the corner and shoot stickies and still do damage. Oh, well, that sticky is kind of. Mm. Okay, runaway detonate, excellent. Oh, sniper's watching. Right, shooting stickies on the cart. And then reloading, yes, excellent. And then he gets shot in the head by snipers. They did fairly well there. He, he killed a bunch of guys. So we're gonna move on eventually. I forgot what this replay was called, but screw that. This is gonna be Go Gozes on still. Wow, okay. Actually, today's episode doesn't feature anything of me because, uh,. I actually did not have time because I've been so busy with other stuff to collect the replays, but I saw we had so many submissions and um, stuff like that, so... Uh, yes, excellent. And he's gonna be pushing with his team here. Launching a bunch of stickies here where there's actually nobody and then detonating him. Oh! Left click. Oh, reload. Okay, take time to reload. This pyro is enjoying the wall. Now he's enjoying death. Oh, there's a Guile uh, soldier! Sonic Kapoor. But he died. Alright. Oh, he's on still on the cart. That's a pyro here. Sticky, yeah, taking him out, blowing into bits. Excellent. Seeing the sticky bomb being really strong. And uh, Red Team is utilizing the strategy of attacking one at a time. That is a strategy we often see used on pubs. And uh, if the enemy team just has a heavy, that will not work. It's 
so still, you know, launching stickies on top, you know, even though the soldier is good at shooting down, you know, demos are, might be better at shooting up than soldiers are at shooting down in this kitchen. There we have another guy, a soldier, but he died and he capped. So that was a one-man push, in case you didn't notice. That was Gozizan doing all this stuff by himself. So now we're going on to the last replay before we go into the raffle. And um, then we're going to end the show. There's not going to be any shoutouts because I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the show. So there's not going to be a shoutout, I think. There's only Gozizan here, so... Oh, maybe you can do. You can join the mumble. Somebody post the mumble info in the chat, then you can join, maybe, if we are enough people. So this is the last replay that I forgot what was about. But, uh, that's fine. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for the gates to open here. Oh yeah, this is the nice rush one. Yes, excellent. He actually makes a really good push. He actually has some really good positioning, and that's what I wanted to end the episode with. As soon as the gates open. 3, 2, 1. Alright, good. Let's see what goes is on this. So currently a spy there. Uber is spot because... And now he's gonna be reloading. Level one sticky, uh, level one sentry taken out with two stickies, and th he's in a good spot right now, because he is on the low ground here, and uh, he is gonna lob a bunch of stickies up and do some damage, and he 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 actually sees there's a bunch of guys, and he's like, well, he's not gonna engage that because he's out of stickies, so he's gonna run down here, and then up uh, reload again, and since he's he's doing the R and R reload and reload, okay, because if he went here, he would have died. Or back, he would have died, but uh, since he's running this way, he's actually fine. So he is going to be grabbing this. He's not going to bring in this health kit because fuck health, right? And he's going to be lobbing a bunch of bombs over because he knows there's people there. And he gets two lucky crits and he takes out this engineer and his building sentry. This engine, this sniper doesn't even notice he is there. He gets taken out as a pyro that doesn't see him, and the pyro dies from the combined effort of a devil man and a sticky. Oh, no, soldier on a sticky, rockets and stickies, yes, explosions. Michael Bay, explosions. So you're gonna pop down a bunch of sticky bombs here, but the fun fact is, if you cap the point, the door will close. And is the cart close to being capped? Yes, in fact, oh well, they run out and kill, get killed anyway. And this door will remain open as long as there's, as there's people there. He takes out another sentry, oh, there's a soldier! Shoots him in, launches him in the air, and he can you can juggle people if you shoot him up, but then he decides to kill himself. So since he did so well, we are gonna end that with an epic slow motion at the end here before we do the raffle. Yes, excellent. So here we have Gozi's on. Takes out the sentry. Now we're gonna slow it down. Here we come, bum bum dum dum shoot sticky on nothing, dum bum dum dum running up, plant sticky on the wall, detonates and kills himself. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so that was the sticky bomb launcher um, episode only. Uh, there were some good replays that, but unfortunately used a melee weapon, which is not allowed in this one. So hopefully you got a good idea. It's kind of like exaggerating when you do moves and stuff like that. Like, you should do like this. And then it's kind of exaggerated when you're like, you should do like this. But actually, they just wanted to, to do this. It's kind of like kind of like that what we did today. So with that, we're going to go into the raffle. And the way the raffle works is that this music comes on. Excellent. So the way the raffle works is that I'm going to be grabbing a random user from the chat, which is on this screen on my end. Not the sticky bomb, but he's like over there. Yes. So I'm going to be doing that right now. I'm going to be refreshing. So here's uh, how it works. If you are following me, and you're registered, you have to be registered in order to follow. If you're not following me, your name will come up and we will laugh at you. If you are following, I will ask you for your Steam user ID or a Steam uh, URL, and then I will add you, and then we will give you a free item. Uh, usually strange hat or keys is usually uh, what it is. So uh, we're gonna launch up the uh, thing here. There we go, all the users have loaded. It was like one, and that was me, but I know there's more people watching. Excellent, so here we have the window. So what I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna be clicking uh, roll the dice. The Zimmer, oh, you got selected, but you're not following me, so haha. -ha. Well, sucks to be you, let's roll it again. And Gozi-san, wow, that's karma, man. Dude, Gozi-san won. 
He's the one that submitted a lot of raffles. So that is, uh, I think I actually got him on my friends list. Excellent. Yes, yeah, so let's see if he is on. Goes, he's on. He's actually not on my friends list, but I will get, I will add you, Goes, he's on. And then we'll be right back with the raffle winner, and then we'll be following up by the shoutouts. And we are back with the raffle winner, Gozi san the guy who submitted a lot, of, a lot of replays. I guess that's Karma. And I actually have to get a backpack expander because you guys were giving me so much stuff for the raffle. So here are the items he can pick. He knows the drill. He can only pick one of these items, um, which you want. Let's see. Yeah, that one too. And uh, this one, this one. What else? Yeah, I think that's all. Yeah, not duplicates. Excellent. So pick one. Pick one of these fine items. If you want to donate, you can. If you want to win, you should be following me. I'm laughing at the first guy who didn't win. Well, we don't have a backpack extend expand spanner. You just pick one of these. Hurry. Uh, I will give you 20 seconds. If you don't pick an item within me reaching zero, you won't get anything. So 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Okay, you got the strange sticky stuff. Sticky one launcher. I think that's a good. I should have a timer to make you pick, because otherwise people can go like, mm, Yes, I do believe which one I should uh, pick here today. Mm, I wonder. Make trade, you, you dumb. There you go. Big dumb. Excellent. Congrats you. Oh, whoops. Yeah, this is what uh, my streaming program looks like and desktop. Excellent. Now, it's time for the shout outs. There are a few people, but that's fine. Hello, everyone. All Thank right. Ghost is nice here. The guy won. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to everybody who submitted replays today because that was a shit ton. I have to watch through everybody at like maximum speed in order to make it in time. Because with so many, it was like. Shout out to Karma. Yeah, you just, just go shout outs. People in the stream can also shout out. Yeah. Shout out to Gozaizen uh, for winning the raffle. Yeah, shout out to Gozazan for for <laughs> Karma. Shout out to shout Karma. Shout out to uh, Crockett. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Crip Pipes and Sticky. Shout out to Sticky Bombs in general because they're so good. Yeah. Wow. Uh, excellent. Shout also, out to Low Sense. <laughs> uh, did you shout out to the Pompson? Ah, oh, yeah, right. Shout out to Pompson. Shout out to the Pompson because that thing is so balanced. Shout out to Crit Stickies. Yeah, Crit Stickies. Again, because they're so good. <laughs> um, shout out to the Halloween update, which is coming soon. Woo! What do you call a Crit Sticky? A shout out for the need for having to pee right now. <laughs> nice. Um, some guy in chat's like, Crickies! Sounds like a crickies, bug. Crickies, right. Yeah, crickies. You have crockets and crickies, and then you have... Cripes. Cripes. You have... I'm trying to think of other... You have... Grenades. Grenades. You have... Framethrower. Crit... 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 Troller. I'm sorry, play flamethrower with crits. It's like... Crit... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. What's that be like? Okay, uh, crit. Uh, yeah, you have revolver. That's a crit revolver. You have crabassador. That's when you headshot. That's crabassador. What else? Um. Um. Oh, it's it's crit thrower. Thank you, Unmoon. Crit thrower. Trouble. Crit thrower. A lot of interesting things in chat. I gotta say, yeah. Uh, also, shout out to UGC, stuff like that. UGC nice. season going on, you should definitely check it out. 
And uh, shout out to everybody that was on uh, Mumble, all uh, four of us. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, with that, I'm going to be muting myself on the Mumble, and I will be telling you what we're going to do next week. Well, it's not next week, it's this next episode. And we have, it's going to be an engineer episode, and I thought about this for a little while, and it's going to be a fun one. It's going to be... Uh, the only restriction is that you have to use the gunslinger, and you have to be on defense, uh, on attack, defend map. Uh, it can be 5 CP, but you kind of have to uh, defend. So it will be you playing engineer as a gunslinger and mostly helping other engineers. I want to see, like, engineer teamwork, where one has, like, a level 3, and then, like, he maybe he's wrangling it, and you're repairing it, and it's, like, completely unstoppable, and people go mad, and they rage quit. That's the kind of stuff. It's going to be, like, supportive... Supporting engineer with gunslinger. You can use whatever loadout you want with the gunslinger. That is all. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.